let's see what joyous fun we can get in today using just eight mods and building out little towns all over this beautiful map. Today we are adding buses and blimps and completing our mass DLC transit town. Okay, I want to start today by getting our bus roads put in and getting a bus hooked up to our lovely monorail uh, bus hub transit center here across from the train station and I want to make sure we get a pedestrian path um, from the train station over to the um, monorail and bus hub. So let's get in some bus roads. I want to, we've got all these roads now which is so great. So let's grab, yes. So this is nice and I think what we'll do yeah we're gonna go here and then we'll come across here and down to here i think that will work and let's get our big um oh that's a six lane we don't need that um yes there we go okay then we're gonna let this bus go all along the outside and then we're gonna go down the hill i love this hill i'm so obsessed with it <laughs> we'll fix that path later okay it looks like we need to redraw this in so let's delete this Oh, no wonder. Okay, now we can redraw this in. <laughs> Hang with me, guys. Sorry. Okay, and then I think what we'll do is we'll also make this a bus road here. All right, this is going to work out really well. I am excited for this. Okay, now we need to think about where we're gonna put our bus um, depot because otherwise the buses will have to come all the way over from New Brighton and that doesn't make any sense. So I think maybe straight across the street hill here will work okay. I think we'll have to use move it, but I think we can make this work. Okay, and I actually think it makes sense to use the pedestrian bus road here, and that way this can also be a pedestrian connection, which I think actually will work out really nicely here because we do need to be thinking about our service station for our pedestrian only town square here. So we're gonna need to fit that in here as well. It's a good place for it. All right, we actually don't need these lights here, so let's go ahead and prioritize the bus movement. And then we actually don't need anything there. I actually wonder if we should bring, make this little section a pedestrian road, and then the cars will come in on the other side and park over there. I think that's gonna actually work. Yeah, I actually like the look of that, okay. All right, time to put in our bus route. So we're just gonna go on the outside here. Okay, and now I want to create a really nice elevated pedestrian bridge that goes from the train station over to our monorail and bus hub. So I'm just gonna take my time here to see if I can't get this to nicely wind around without having too steep of a, um, a walk for anyone either way. If I can bring this like this and then bring this down. It's a little steep, but it's not awful. Just 
straighten this out a bit. I actually really like the look of this. I think this is really nice. I think we could even probably lower this a little bit as well. Yeah, there we go. I think that is going to work really nicely. Let's just check and see. Yeah, plenty of clearance room. Okay. All right, we already got crime in the parking lot. <laughs> So this area does need services. So let's think about that. I did get the cemetery down, but we're going to want a police station. That actually fits perfect right there. How does this look? Oh, I actually really like this. Okay. And fire station. Let's just go with a small firehouse. Put that right there. Great. Okay. I am happy with that. Let's clean this up a little bit. We're off to a good start here. Okay, I put in this little parking area and I don't like how any of this turned out. So I'm going to completely redo this. Okay, I think this is going to work so much better. Let's just clean this up a little bit. There we go. Okay, I think that will work. And I can probably get some of these covered parking along the outside of this as well, which I think would work. Thank goodness for Move It. I like this so much better. Now we just need some fencing. Let's see. Again, thank goodness for move it. <laughs> you are gonna go here. Let's move this back a little bit again. You can go there, then move this back and put that right there you leave it a little space to walk in maybe mm, no i think that's fine right there okay and let's grab yeah i kind of like this one let's put this here perfect okay that looks so much better than what i had there before so i am much happier with that Okay, we really need to grow this part of Noob Castle. So that means we need to get some zoning in finally. I'm gonna use some fencing here to really make sure I've got the zoning where I want it. This is gonna be our office park and I really want some nice square buildings in this area. And I've got the Modern City Center set for this, which I think is gonna look really nice. And I'm just cleaning up my zoning here. Really don't want anything. No one by ones, no funky zoning in this area. I actually want that to be gone. Let's make this. We can take that out. Make this really clean. Yeah. Okay. I think this is going to work well. Here we go. And I can get a nice building here. Yeah. This is going to be a nice office park and it's right near public transportation. So if you live somewhere else and we're coming to work here, it's easy to get to work, which is the whole point. <laughs> you guys know I like walkable cities. All right. A little nice path work. Means that up. No, that's not what I want. Try that again. Okay, and for the residential zoning for the rest of Noob Castle, I have the um, European Suburbia. I know that kind of seems like an odd mix, but I really want most of this area here. We'll have this office park. We'll have a bit of high density commercial in our 
pedestrian town square and then the rest is just going to be like low density housing which i actually think is going to work out really well so again i'm just going to be really careful and selective with my zoning and just be really thoughtful about where I'm placing things. Oh, and for the pedestrian area, I have the wall-to-wall -wall commercial. So with the modern city center for the offices, the wall-to-wall -wall commercial, and the European suburbia, it's kind of an odd mix, but I think it's gonna work out really well. Okay, and I am going to go through and mark some of these buildings in the pedestrian um, square historical, but then I think I'm going to leave the rest. That way we kind of get some different heights and some different style, style buildings. But I definitely don't want, even though the wall-to-wall -wall zoning is pretty like mid-rise, some of them can still get kind of large and I just want a good mixture of large and small so we'll go ahead and mark these ones historical and then everything else that comes in we will just let it kind of grow up in size which i think will be good and i realize these three zonings are a bit of an odd mix but i do kind of like it and there will be you know some separation in between our zoning so that will work well let's make sure we get a crosswalk both places and I think we can do the same thing here bring a little road so people can easily walk to the bus so lots of detail opportunity behind the house is there which I'm excited about okay I think we are off to a pretty good start here let's check on our bus Oh, that's our school bus so school bus that works okay and then this is our new castle all right and let's see how this is going that's going fine I think that's great okay I think it's just about continuing to fill in our zoning here and adding in services where needed and make sure we have Lots of connections for our pedestrians as well. Yeah, I really like how this area is starting to come together and it has a very different feel than the other side of New New um, Noob Castle. Look at everyone coming off the train and using our pedestrian bridge. This makes me so happy. This is exactly what I wanted to see and this will hopefully stop, you know, a lot of pocket cars. So this is excellent. I am really excited about this. Okay, let's keep growing Noob Castle. Okay, and I think right here is gonna be a perfect spot for elementary school. We're definitely really low on our elementary school capacity um, between our two towns. So I might add two elementary schools to this area. Perfect, look at that. Lots of detail opportunities back here, which I'm very excited about. This is gonna end up looking really cool. I think this is gonna like I said, it's an interesting blend, but I think it's going to work out really well. And it looks like we're struggling a little bit to get goods into our pedestrian area. So I do think we might have to add a, um, add in another uh, pedestrian service point. I'm gonna let that residential um, demand come back a little bit before I start adding apartments in. Um, yeah, let's see if we can squeeze in another one of these over here. I think that's gonna work. Let's get back to our 
zoning, which we're being very careful with and strategic with, and just being very thoughtful about where we place things as we continue to reach finishing Newcastle today. Okay, I want to think about our medical clinic. This little corner is gonna be perfect and we can use move it just to slide it into place here. Excellent. And now I want to think of that second elementary school because we really do need it. So I think I'm gonna go with this one right here and we will tuck it in over here somewhere. Okay, and then high school, might as well put high school over here. Yeah, I like that spot. Okay, and let's continue to fill out our residential. I want to bring a path through here to connect up to the high school. Like that would be a very valuable connection. And then I think I'm going to use Surface Painter to make our entrance to the school, to the back of the school, which I think is going to be very valuable as well. And I think we could add a path or two on either side and also the basketball court, which, you know, quintessential to put next to a high school in city skylines. And I'm not mad about it. <laughs> That's one thing I do wish we had in the game was like sports fields for, you know, our schools and community centers and stuff like that. I think that would be so cool. And I know we have stuff on the workshop, but I do think that would be really neat to have, you know, but maybe that's something we'll vote on to maybe, I don't want to add too many assets to this build. I want to be really selective about the ones we add, but I do think like sports fields would be one that we could have a really good, um, you know, talk about adding because it isn't something in the game. And I mean, we do have the, the tennis courts, which we used over in our community college and um, there's the basketball courts. But I do think, you know, some sports fields, the ones from King Leno could be really cool. The um, I think he has the high school baseball, the high school um soccer um and there's another one but i just can't think of it yay go sports <laughs> so all right we need to re-put in this connection here because when we put in our bus roads it broke that and i wonder if that's gonna work out or if i need to i don't think people are using that the way i want them to I'm just watching to see if anyone crosses from one side of the street directly to the other and they're not. So let's pull this there and now that should probably work out really well. Okay, now throughout this area, I do kind of want to make Noob Castle do feel like it is one community um, town. So we're gonna use the same trees that we use down in our financial district throughout here. And that's really gonna help pull everything together. I'm using these on our bike roads. So I think this is makes for just a very nice bike ride if you've got that nice shade going on there. And then do we want to use the Young Lindens? I don't mind it, but I feel like... Oh, actually, I really like this better with the European Suburbia. Okay, let's do the horse chestnuts all the way through um, our residential areas here. I think this is really coming together nicely. I hope you guys like Noob Castle. I really like the whole feel of this area. It's just coming together really nicely. Yeah, I like this. And there's lots of detail opportunity here, which I'm very excited about. So that's gonna be really fun to detail up all these areas. 
Yeah, I mean, it's kind of an odd mix of zoning with the modern city center, the wall-to-wall, -wall, and the European suburbia, but I actually kind of think it works, so I'm not mad about it at all. Okay, let's check in on how our buses are going. Whoa! Okay, very popular. Also very popular. Okay, let's see. Let's go with the 80 capacity. We'll go with four buses and we're not gonna have anybody waiting if we do that. So I think it's gonna work so well. I really do like this hill. I don't know why I'm obsessed with it, but I think it looks so cool. And our Metro is still getting really well used. I think this is excellent. So this makes me really happy. It's always, I don't know. I don't know if you guys stress out about this or not, but sometimes like when you have multiple forms of transportation, sometimes one like will dominate and be like the ultimate choice and then no one uses the other one. It makes you sad because you like to see people using all forms of transportation. But so far, this is working out really well. I am so happy about this. Okay, let's think about what we wanna do in this area. Okay, I think we definitely could use a library. I do like that. And then we can put in kind of like the satellite campus. And I'm noticing we need to do some zoning cleanup here. Okay. All right, I do like that. I think that's a nice place for a little satellite university. Okay, there we go. That way you can bike all the way around the university. This fits perfectly here. That's great. What about a sauna? I always like a sauna. Yeah, I think that actually works really well. I wonder if there's anything else we should put in this area. Um, oh, you know what we need? We need a post office and a bank. So, put our bank there. And let's grab our post office. I don't like to have a post office be on a corner. Okay, nice. Oh, this corner works. Okay. Hey, I like this a lot. I am very happy with this. That can be a light there. That's fine. Hey, hey, a noob castle is really coming together, guys. Okay, the other thing we got with the Mass Transit DLC was the Boat Museum. So this is where we are going to place down our Boat Museum. I think it's going to fit perfectly here. I just want to make sure our ferries are not going to run into it, so we'll have to check that out. Um, maybe just a little rock detailing here would be nice. I love seeing all of the people. So great so great okay let's just speed this up and make sure that our boat is not gonna hit our boat museum the ferry okay perfect that works great okay the next thing we need to add is the locomotive halls you got with the mass transit dlc i'm gonna delete one of these since we have our cemetery up top now so i'm gonna put the locomotive halls here and we'll do some detailing around that as well so that's gonna tie in really nice i think it looks really good in that area now we are going to add our blimps up here and we are going to add the other thing we got with the mass transit dlc which is the traffic park it's like the little kids driving the cars around i think it's so adorable and it's not something i see used very often and i actually think it is so cute and it fits so well next to the blimp it's almost like makes it more of that kind of like attraction versus a mode of transportation i'm going to leave the blimp off for now once we do another town and we build out our university dlc and we have all those university sports buildings 
then we'll put the blimp over there and that'll be really fun to see the blimp going over the sports stadium. So that's what we're gonna do once we build out another town. Okay, as you can see, there is a lot of detailing before Noob Castle is complete, but I am going to do that live on my Discord tomorrow for those of you that are catching this building. We've got to detail in here around our locomotive halls. We've got to detail um, around our housing on this road here and then all behind our houses and in between the freeway lots of detailing um, come join me if you catch this if you see this video later on and you missed it that's okay come join the discord and hopefully I'll be doing more of these live detailing sessions over there which I'm really excited about I hope you all have a joyful day and I'll catch you next time where we start our brand new city focused on the Green Cities DLC. Thanks for everyone who voted in my poll and I'm so excited to build our next town.